smart Ami sent me the Ant Bluetooth wireless speaker. I've been using it for about a week and it is amazing. Let me open the box and I'll show you its features. Comes in a nice small box with extremely tight tolerances for getting it open. As you can see, it is a great small size. Compared to the old iPod Touch, it's about the same size. In the box, you just got nice foam protective cover and it comes with a USB mini charging port or cord and then 3.5 millimeter stereo jack there. And then it has a nice information booklet and then a little card asking you to do a review on Amazon. So to start off with the features here, you can see that it is quite small. I like that part about it. It has a nice leather strap, which can be used for carabiner or attaching to bike handle or something like that. The back has a little faux leather strip with the Smart Ami logo. On the bottom is where you will access your charging port and 3.5 millimeter jack. This rubber pad here is actually quite uh, tight, so that's what helps to bring it its IPX of 7. Uh, so it is uh, water resistant for showers and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Now on the top, it's got three buttons. The power button, the plus button, and the minus button. And that's really all you have as far as input. And there is a little tiny hole for the microphone on this side, which you probably can't even see. Two speakers up front, no speakers in the back. So to get this thing to work, I'm going to hold down the power button for about three seconds and you're going to hear it uh, speak. Power on. Okay. Now it's hard to see in this light, but there's a tiny blue light right here that is blinking rapidly. And that blink means that it is ready for pairing. So I'm going to go to my settings of my iPod and go to the Bluetooth settings here. Hello. Goodbye. And it's already located the Smart Ami Ant. I'm going to pair that. Paired. So it says paired. And now it is prepared to play some music. Go to my music here and find a song that is not going to be copyright protected. Okay, now I'm playing from the ant. I'm going to make sure the volume is up all the way here by holding the plus button. Maximum volume. Okay. And now I can adjust the volume on my iPod. The sound quality is amazing. And the volume is impressive with this 5 watt speaker. Now, I can control the audio from my iPod. But you can also, let's say, push the positive button here. And it's going to change the song on the iPod. So I can also push the negative button and it will go put the previous song like this. So it is quite handy to have those features. To uh, adjust the volume on here, you just hold down for a longer period like that and it'll tell you if it's reached the max or the minimum volume so those are the basic features for playing songs now the device advertises 33 feet of range for the Bluetooth so I'm gonna set this up right here I'm gonna use a hundred foot tape measure and I'm going to set that right here where the speaker is. And I'm going to test out how far this will reach. So let me play this music for you. And I'm going to start walking. <laughs> Maybe I should take the iPod with me.
prepared. It cut out at 119 feet. That's impressive. It says it can withstand a three meter drop. This is only about a meter and a half, so here we go. Fine. Still going strong. It also indicates that it has an IPX of seven, so it can be put underwater. I hope this works because I love this speaker so far. The uh, case on the bottom is closed, so it should be good for a good dose of water. I noticed whenever the holes got plugged up with the water, the uh, sound quality dropped. But as those holes get unclogged, the uh, sound is returning. Nice. Power off. So my thoughts on the Smart Ami Bluetooth wireless speaker. This is impressive for about $24. There are a few things that I really like about it. It is small and easily fits into a pocket. It is extremely lightweight. If I wanted to take this on a bike ride or a camping trip, I'd have no problem packing this so light. There, uh, the range on this thing at 119 feet where it cut out that's impressive. Now, if you are inside and you go around a corner or something with your uh, Bluetooth device, it is going to um, potentially cut out quicker than that 100 feet. Um, so 33 feet with some corners, I think, is a very reasonable um, data point. The construction seems to be of a top quality. I dropped it from about a meter and a half and Nothing, not a scratch. So definitely impressed with that. Um, being able to get this wet is important for me because when I'm out here doing some work on the property, I can uh, not worry about this when it gets uh, dropped in the wet grass or if it rains on it. So that is pretty great. Now, when it says um, power on or pairing or uh, power off, that might be an annoyance if you were using this for some event. I don't know, playing music for a small wedding that's being filmed or something. Uh, just an example. Um, it may be annoying to say, power on! <laughs> but uh, other than that, this is um, it's great. It's got a 12 hour play time from one and a half hours of charging. Uh, that's The only way to charge it is, of course, from that charging port down here. I've seen some units with uh, solar panels, but uh, that's no big deal. Hour and a half of charging is still great. So if you'd like to check out the Smart Ami Ant speaker, I will put the link in the description down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.